The Shirley Temple is a terrible drink, especially when you use modern pale ginger ales and cheap grenadine. However, if you mixed it with grenadine made in 1901 and ginger ale made from the same time period, you'd get a much different drink. In my previous two videos, I talked about grenadine syrup, how it was made back in the early 1900s and even into the 1800s at the soda fountain. And it's different than what we believe it is today. Uh, but I'll let you go watch the video. But one of the things is it's fruitier, it's got a more clean flavor than what this stuff does. But then there's also ginger ale. Now, pale ginger ales of the Canada Dry type, uh, they are very mild, very sweet, and they don't have a lot of ginger punch. But if you made ginger ale from 19, or even 1890, uh, the Belfast type ginger ale, it's a much different product. It's actually got some heat in it from the spice. And if you want to watch that video, go check it out. Uh, I'll link up here. Uh, but the combination of these two vintage products makes a much better drink. Now, not a lot of people are going to drink Shirley Temples, and that's fine. They're not my thing, but kids like them. This might be maybe a little too spicy for kids, depending on how you make your Belfast ginger ale. However, for an adult, if you want to take this idea of ginger ale and grenadine and mix it together, you can go along and make the Shanghai Buck. Now, or the improved Shanghai Buck, because the original Shanghai Buck just has simple syrup, but the improved version has grenadine. Now, the Shanghai Buck comes from the 1939 book, A Gentleman's Companion, and it's basically a combination of ginger ale, grenadine, and rum. And it specifically asks for Bacardi rum, but Bacardi rum made back then is different than the Bacardi rum we make today. So today I'm going to use a legitimate Cuban rum from my last trip to Cuba. And this drink's served as a highball. And you want like a 16 ounce glass for this. And in the soda world, what you really want is a heavy glass and you want it well chilled. Because if you add ice to soda, or soda water, what happens is it takes all the fizz out of it. It actually becomes a limp drink. It doesn't have that intensity of the soda that we want. So I'm going to make this Shanghai Buck in the soda fountain style called served solid. And that means the first thing you do is you add your soda water. So this is a little bit of a trick because you got to get the volume right. But it, you know, if you go short on it, that is fine. Uh, you can always top up with a little bit of soda water. Then we're going to add half a lime. Now to make this drink, it's quite simple. We're just going to use a 16 ounce highball glass. That's what the recipe calls for. And we're going to serve it solid like they did at the soda fountain. Now serving something solid means that you're trying to reduce the amount of foam that's caused by carbonation. And so you put the soda water in first, and I'll show why this works well. So then we're going to put the lime in. So this is just half a lime, and you will get some foaming with the lime. And then we're going to add some grenadine syrup, and we're going to add 20 to 25 mils of this. And then we're going to add the ginger ale syrup. And this is Belfast ginger ale, so it does have some heat to it. And we're gonna need just about two ounces of this because it is such a tall drink. So if it was an eight ounce drink, we'd only use one ounce of this, but because it is such a large drink, we're, we have to double up the amount we'd normally use. And then we're going to add two jiggers or three ounces of rum. And that is your Shanghai Buck. Now it does take a little practice to get uh, the volume of soda into the glass correct. So you'll find that I've done this enough that you can get it actually right to the top. But that takes some practice. Uh, so if you're pouring this, when you first start, you might want to go a little short on your soda and then add up and then you can top off. But you're going to get a pink drink. Uh, that's the goal. And you can always make your grenadine more red. Uh, this is fairly 
bright red, but you can make it darker if you want. You can garnish it with lime or whatever you want. I've gone to skipping garnishes. I don't find, other than a few drinks are not that useful and they're uh, not necessarily good for the environment because most of them just end up in the garbage bin at the end of the night. If you've ever worked a shift behind the bar and you go to take out the garbage, it's usually full of the garnishes. If you want to add ice to this, now obviously all the ingredients are chilled when in this, but if you want to add some ice, you're gonna to have to go a little bit shorter in the glass. Most sodas didn't have ice, again, because they don't want to flatten the drink or remove the carbonation. So if you use a heavy glass and refrigerate it, uh, you'll get a drink that will actually be cold for a long time. And if you keep this as close to zero or keep it on ice, uh, you'll keep the carbonation better and you'll also keep the drink cold. So this drink can stay cold for at least 20 minutes without ice. If you wanna add ice, you can. The recipe calls for three cubes of ice, so just pour a little less soda. So thanks for watching, feel free to subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.